guys, welcome back to World of Warships with on Itchy. Today we're going to have a look at the Wyoming Tier 4 American Battleship. There we go, got a camo on mine, it's just, I like that. So this thing sits, uh, where is it, in the tech tree? Sits after the South Carolina and before the New York. Uh, Sometimes it's described as a mini fuso, just because of the sheer amount of gun turrets it has. With six double gun turrets, each sporting 105mm, so 12 inch guns. Not great range, but if you can get in close with this thing, you can deal a lot of damage. So, there's no gun upgrades for this, but you can upgrade the hull, which takes a bunch of your secondary guns off, well it takes almost all of your secondary guns off, but it does give you 28 anti-aircraft mines, although if you have a look, I believe they're, ma they're machine guns and small cannons, so it's not a massively impressive anti-aircraft mount, as you can see it's only got a rating of 13, but you don't have anything with the uh, stock system. The fire control increases your range from 12.8 to 14.1 kilometers, and the propulsion upgrade increases your speed by 2.6 knots up to 20.9. Well, that was just a quick run of it down in the dock. Let's have a run out, see if we can actually do any good. Okay, so here we are, it's put us in a, well, it's technically a tier 6 match, uh, one tier 6 on either side I think, no we've got two, they've got one, uh, tier 4 to 6, so I'm a bit of a small fish, but it's only tier 4 battleships, only things higher are, well they've got destroyers and cruisers higher than, isn't. an aircraft carrier, but I don't, don't think I'll be too worried about that, unless they come and try and get me. So in the uh, domination type map here, so we've got to try and capture these points to win the game. So in a battleship, first thing I do first thing we're going to do is load armor piercing shells, because the whole point of the battleships is the big guns our armor piercing and then if you come across other battleships or more heavily armored cruisers you're gonna get citadel penetrations I'm not quite sure why the entire cruiser division all went for the same capture point to start with but random teams what you're gonna do So I've captured one point each. Also I've got two fighter squadrons, so it looks like the aircraft carrier's focusing is firepower down the other side of the match, which is good. Map even, match. We're well on our way to capturing D. They're trying to head around to capture the A point. Is there anyone famous in this match? Not that I recognise. So, although we haven't seen anything over here. But I'm just capturing A, so... so we're definitely over on the other side. Doesn't seem to be anyone here. But 
So there's a cruiser trying to zigzag up the middle. Finally spotted some people. Yeah, what have we got there? A Wyoming class battleship. First target of the day. Swim around so I can bring all my guns to bear on him. So number three to it is a bit iffy at times, trying to actually get it pointed at people. Bring the fire from all my batteries and let's see what we can manage here. Nothing whatsoever. Oh, um. Rain battery accuracy. Why you do this to me? Well, he's on fire, which is quite good. So, I'm going to light him up again. This time I'm going to do a full blow. Get him. Come on, load all there. I don't know if I can get him. Now, unfortunately, wasn't able to clear the island. A waste. I was trying to slow down to stop it, but now I've actually put up in a bad position because I'm not clear enough to get around here. So he's going to be dead before I get around this island. Torpedoes going in at him. Flight torpedo bombers there. Let's see. Oh, double torpedo hit. I've left him on perilously low health and flooding. And by the look of it, he doesn't have his repair kit, and yeah, he's going down. Okay. Entire enemy team has actually come the other way around the map, so a couple have gone up the middle. So I'm gonna swing around this island. Try to head back over to support also support our carrier, but it's already dead. Not surprisingly, we just lost a battleship. We tried to go down the pass in the middle, run into an enemy torpedo cruiser, and here, yeah, because that was going to work. Start swinging my guns around the other direction. Battleship guns take so long to turn 180 degrees. When you're trying to turn them, that's why you run about 270 degrees, like I am here, it really does take a while. Just so always start them turning early. If you can. Never try and switch tires from one side to the other, unless you're in a ship like the Koachi, which has some side mounted turrets. Because, of course, they then don't have to turn anywhere near as far to be there from one side to the other. When you've all got centerline mounted turrets, you should always try and prepare well in advance where your turrets need to be pointed. I can put this two Omaha's over there. Both faster than me, both out of range. Because I destroyed him on a spot mark. It's more the cruiser's job to spot more tanks. Even though you may think of destroyers as light tanks, 
cruisers are actually better at spotting because they can take the damage they take. That didn't quite make sense. They can take more damage than destroyers can, which I should have said there. So I'm trying to cap our C point, but I need to bring my guns around so I can actually shoot at it. Please hit. Oh, there we go. I've got a hit. A hit. Just chipping away here. He's opening fire on me, but he hasn't got much help left. I can get a hit in and get a system penetration. Get a hit in would be a good start. There we go, here's the Citadel. That's all I needed. One Citadel penetration was enough to finish him off. So what have we got here? Several ships with lots of guns. There may be five or six inch guns, but I said Cleveland's got a heck of a lot of them. I'm trying to do it here is cycle my guns in double battery firing so put shots out that bit much more regularly. And just got another, I've only got four hits and I've got two sinks. A little system penetration there. Next. Got a system of penetration with that one. It's taking fire from other people as well. So it shouldn't take too long to take him down. Fire going in on him now, so I'm dead before I've reloaded. He's trying to run. Twenty-four seconds till my fire stop burning. He attempted to run. I've not been spotted in the so we're just guessing where I am. Oh no, wait. Apparently I've been spotted by aircraft. What aircraft? But, uh... One hit on him. Spread. There we go. Got him. Who's next? Someone has spotted me. Our victory is in sight. Where is the destroyer? No, no, that'll be him over there. It'll be the Neo who spotted me. Oh dear. Shots are coming. I don't want to repair cruisers, depending on some of my health, because this could be a hard fight. But I do have some cruiser back up here. There's the Cleveland Dawn, where I got to. Unlikely I'm going to make any of these, but at least cause them to turn away, which. Is firepower. Take what evasive action you can in a battleship. I'll try and close the distance on the Miyogi over there. Cleveland's probably out of firing range now. It looks like he's turned his gun on someone, which is quite good. Good 
the hex left, a little bit of damage in return, but a huge amount. Looks like we're going to win this. Ah, there we are. Wondered where he was. His guns reloaded because I don't particularly want to be sitting broadside onto an enemy destroyer. So I'm glad I maneuvered when I did. Deal with this destroyer first. Then deal with the battleship. Oh, slow down. Just damaged him. The range of my secondary batteries are these. Up to smoke screen and then sailed straight out of it towards me, so it's like the wings. The second is only not one of him only. Turn towards him. Hope I got him before he Yeah, looks like I got him before he was able to drop his torpedoes and there we've won. So 21 hits, 4 sinks. That was a reasonably good match. Let's have a look how I did. Top of the team on experience. Dealt 40,000 damage. Received 19,000. That's pretty good. Came out with 171,000 credits and 3,000 experience nearly. That was a pretty good match. So yeah. This is why people like the American battleships. They may have quite low ranges. Oh, what did I get? Juliet Charlie for detonation. Almost a blow to these magazine. And fireproof. Cool. So, yeah. Obviously, it will help that I do have the camouflage on there, which. We have a look and mounted the camouflage, which does make enemies slightly less accurate. But the American destroyers, they may not have the best range in their guns, certainly with low teams, but they're reasonably maneuverable, quite well armoured, and have quite a lot of guns. Very short range, but when you're firing 12 shots, you're bound to do some damage, as you saw. And you see all the anti aircraft armament there around the Citadel. So, yeah. Well, that's today's look at the Wyoming class battleship here at Tier 4. While I'm trudging my way up to try and get the uh, 21,000 experience to unlock the New York, but that's it for today. Uh, let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Please give it a like if you did like it. Um, if you like this sort of thing, there'll be more videos coming soon. I'm going to try and get some more basic ship reviews done like this one and gameplay footage give me a subscribe if you're interested in that and i will catch you next time